What is soil health? Our soil is its own ecosystem, alive with microbes and organisms which create the nutrients plants need to grow healthy and strong. The composition of the soil affects the water flow, stabilizes the soil surface, determines the land's resilience to natural disasters and disease, and much more. Soil quality is the capacity of the soil to function in order to sustain plant and animal productivity, maintain or enhance water and air quality, and support human health and habitation. Soil health, soil quality, and soil condition are used interchangeably. If the soil is used over and over, its nutrients become depleted and it becomes dry. Erosion becomes more common as the soil becomes unable to retain water. Some soil health practices to improve the overall quality include using soil testing, mulch, compost, and cover crops. My name is Daniela. Um, our farm is White Mars Farm. And I'm Jorge. We used to be farmers back in Mexico. And then when we moved here about five years ago, um, we weren't planning on being farmers, but then we saw the new entries uh, uh, planning business course. And then we took it and we liked it and we started going to the incubator farm. And then now, three years later, we have our, our own farm. I like being outside uh, in the farm all day. I don't have to be working in an office or nine to five. Yeah, for me too, also like the connection with the field and with the people when they receive their vegetables is like really great. Since we took the course at New Entry, they, they teach you that you have to be as more sustainable as you can. We, we saw that they have another culture, well, at least, at least in the entry. And we, we thought that was cool because um, it's, it's the whole environment. It's, there's, there's another environment in, in the soil and in the, in the fields. We had to do some amendments to the soil because it, was, it had a very low pH level. But all the substrate left from the microgreens and the mushrooms. Compost compost uh, we compost it and then and then bring it back to the to the soil yeah. and that that helped a lot because three years ago you couldn't grow anything here and then I think that helped a lot and and you see more um, we find way more uh, beneficial insect insects and ladybugs and I think that that's what we started to do but we definitely want to learn more and keep trying to do more things to improve our soil. Uh, at the end of the season, uh, mostly in October, we do the fall cover cropping. And always, I always rot rotate beds, bed rotation, and we're gonna start also with doing some more mulching. We don't wanna use uh, plastic anymore for the, for the tomatoes. So I think the idea will be ready to start mulching. Also, we can we want to apply the substrate from the mushrooms after we get the harvest, so improve the field a little more. You you know something your whole life, and then now you find out that that's not the right way, and and everybody or, or most of conventional farmers they hear about. Uh, uh, not tilling or things like that and they they don't think it's possible but I think that's that's the biggest barrier that that whenever we try to or challenge whenever we try to they say you're not going to be able to do that and then we got we doubt or that second thoughts about it because I mean we love being farmers and everything but we still have to make money too. <laughs> so but I think we, if we keep researching we can find uh, balance between things. Yeah.